All right, leveled up. What a way to start a video. All right, well that was easy enough. Except that one didn't have the pinch chart. Wow, what a troll. They're showing us so many heart to hearts that we can't do yet because we don't have the people. What's this? What? What? Oh, gee, the Titan's gift. Alright, that was. that was fun. Also, I liked how they just confirmed that, uh. the Bionis is basically a Titan, like from Xenoblade 2. And that's what they are. You know, the Bionis and the Mechonis, they're they're titans. They're just the largest titans on the planet, you know? <laughs> I gotta kill all these worker arachnos. What the? Look at the emblem. They're traders from Colony 6. No wonder it's been so long since the last delivery. Ryan, their injuries. They were made by no Mechon. It was probably the monsters that live here. Man, that's grim. I don't want to go like this. Not even killed by Mechon, just some monsters in a cave. They probably had families. Children. Maybe. It wouldn't surprise me. But why'd you say that? Oh, no reason. Ryan, shouldn't we return them to the Bionis? Huh? Oh, right. What's born from the Bionis is returned to the Bionis. That's the way of the Homs. That was way harder than I thought it'd be. I'm just about ready to collapse. Let's take a rest. If the monsters in here killed all these traders, we need to be at our best. I'm wide awake, so I'll take first watch. Thanks, man. The nap will do me good. Eh, nothing like camping in a cave by a spring. This reminds me of that little campfire in the Spirit Crucible Elpis. Shulk, my turn. Awake already? Didn't sleep a wink. Oh, I still feel like I just did one of Vanguard's drills. <laughs> hey, whatever happened to that guy? Is he still alive? Hey. Why do you think the Mechon attacked? Are we just food to them? Or, what, did we do something wrong? Sort of reminds me of the battle between the Bionis and the Mechonis. 
I wonder if it's anything to do with that. Well, it's hard to believe that living things are just a source of energy for machines. There has to be another reason. Mechon killed Fiora. Yeah. You know what? I'll never forgive them. I don't care what their reason is. Hmm. When it happened, the Monado showed me that Fiora was in danger, but I couldn't save her. It's not your fault. Just because the Monado showed you some future, that don't mean you could do anything about it. You did great. You fought them off. I couldn't have done that. You know, I've been thinking about it. Why you can use the Monado, I mean. Dixon told me. You're a survivor from the Monado expedition team that went out 14 years ago. There was a blizzard or something, and your mum and dad died. And then Dixon found oh, you. Oh, that's, no, that's what happened. That sounds right. I was pretty young, so I don't really remember anything. Is that why you do it? Why you're always helping Dixon with his research and trying to figure out the Monado? Maybe. Part of me does see it as something to remind me of my mum and dad. But mainly, if it really is the sword that the Bionis used to kill the Mechonis, like in the legend, I want to work out its secret. That's the real reason. I've got it. You were chosen by the Monado. What? Chosen? Don't you see? Not even Dunban can handle it. It ain't chance that you can and he can't. <laughs> I'll take the next watch. You get some rest. Okay, I'll try. Night ride. Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. <sighs> it is every man's desire to change the future. Is that not so? Even if everything has been predestined, will you not oppose it? The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Shulk! Shulk! Ryan! So I'm guessing that uh, bit, that little dream with that guy just now, that was another future vision. And, uh, wow, that was loud. And uh, when we get to that point, we'll apparently be wearing the same outfit, so I'm not going to change Sulk's clothes at all. <laughs> then again, the whole moral of the game is like changing the future, so we had to change Sulk's clothes by then. <laughs> it was kind of funny to be honest. Alright, so, uh, Arachnids, I remember these guys. There were a lot of these dudes in Xenoblade 2, and I fought their freaking king and queen in the Spirit Crucible. So this basically is a Spirit Crucible right here. That's pretty nice. I racked up a hell of a lot of experience with this, I'll tell you what. Yeah! <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Ryan. Don't worry about it. It looked like you were having a nightmare. Really? The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Was I dreaming? What's with you? We'd better get a move on. Like, why would you not tell Ryan that he's about to die to a giant spider? I mean, I think you'd appreciate the warning, seriously. Uh, let's just kill these guys from their side quest. Can we just kill level 8 versions of you guys? You guys will be easy. I like how these arachnos have different uh, titles and positions. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I'm killing this guy to get arachno silk, and I'm only just now getting one. That that sucks. See, this reminds me of that uh, shiny underground lake that's in the Spirit Crucible. That was a really beautiful place. What's this? Oh, that's an armor. More of the dudes we can kill for possible silk. Too bad we can't get the silk from the ones that we kill in the story. Monsters egg sacs, I think. But it looks like there are mechon parts inside as well. Man, what kind of monsters are they? Probably some type of arachno. <sighs> Ryan, get back! comes true, then right, I've got to find him. Oh, great. Uh, sound types will attack response to noise. Oh, interesting. Well, I can still kill you guys with the silk, I guess. It was defeated via the hatching. I appreciate that. At least guys have low HP. There's just a lot of you is a problem. I'm going to be the only one racking up the XP. Does this game have ends like Xenoblade 2 where he can get a bonus EXP? Cause I really hope there are because we're gonna need it. That was a really handy mechanic in Xenoblade 2.
Or at least he got the Arachnos still now. Alright, now there's no reason to kill these guys. I don't want Ryan to miss out on the EXP. There's another mining zone. Well, this place looks beautiful. You things just don't give up, do ya? Ryan! I've got to hurry. If I can get up there, I should be able to reach it. Oh, oh, do vine walls work the same way they do in two? Yeah, I know how they work. Really a lake. It's like if I uh, start climbing it, the enemies will just stop attacking me. Oh, well, we gotta kill these guys in the quest, though. Old Jewel Travel. I'm about to die to a little travel. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's get Ryan back before we do this stuff. I'm gonna kill you. You look like a special enemy. Like, look at how you just mounted in the center of the rim. You're definitely a special enemy. At least he climbs relatively fast. I don't remember Xenoblade 2's climbing being that fast, but it was certainly handy in uh, surviving the onslaughts. What if I go back this way? Which was a dead end. But yeah, there's like a way up there and there's like a secret area. I'm pretty sure this game has secret areas like Xenoblade 2. It's just fun that way. I'm guessing you must have killed a lot. Ryan, no! Not that way! Ryan! Shoot! Daruk's protection for Breath of the Wild. That's that's nice. That's where Daruk's protection came from. Glad one of us figured out these things are trying ambush. Let's do this, son. Right. Great, right, then we're gonna go back to the, the spring rib and kill those side quest enemies. Salt shields! Okay. Okay. I remember that. Uh. Alright. Alright. 
Oh, there's another Monado Art. I'm not sure which one I use. Do I have to use this? I'm really not sure if that works. Oh my god, Ryan took a lot of damage. I don't even know who I'm... Who am I attacking anyway? I'm not even targeting the boss. That is still loud as hell. Who am I targeting? Okay, now I'm targeting the freaking Arachno Queen. You have you are a high level enemy. Probably a chain attack, maybe. That must have been the really loud attack I heard. See if I can figure this out. So that's white. So is that so that's the color white and that that means I have to use I don't know, I guess that means I have to use this one. I don't even, even sure. What's this attack do? Okay, okay, that's a nice attack. Oh, is that the uh, the that's the defense attack I guess. That's the award I just got. Uh, okay, it's red attack, so I have to use a red attack. Ryan cannot use anything. Okay. So does that work? It, it made a little shattering sound and a correct sound, so I'm guessing that worked. You know what I always thought weird? Um, and Xenoblade... Oh, crap. It's like in Xenoblade 2, Rex basically got a power like this called Foresight. It was after Mithra awakened. But like, you could never use it. Like, you can't use it like you can use the Monado right now. It didn't make any sense. Looks like the Monado works for more than just Mekon. I gotta say, that's pretty awesome. Ryan, I just realized something. Huh? The future I see, it isn't set. I think it's more like a warning. A warning? Yeah. A warning about what will happen. What will happen if I don't do anything. Or if I can't do anything. So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. You've got my vote. And if you really can do that, I think Fiora would have liked it too. Yeah. Right, let's get moving. We're nearly at the Bionis knee. Oh, nice. So yeah, uh... It's in the lower higher. I'm gonna keep forgetting this skill. See if I can do anything with skill tree. So yeah, like what I was saying, um, when Rex awakens Mithra in uh, Xenoblade 2... I 
guessing like this is unlocked or something. Still trying to understand how these mechanics work. So when Mithra gets Lincoln and Xenoblade 2, he base like Rex apparently gets a foresight ability, but you can't use it in gameplay. Like not like you can use the uh, the Monado right now, and uh, and like in Xenoblade 2, you can actually unlock Shulk for your party. I don't need. Okay, that's Foster position. Oh, whatever, I'm not gonna, I'm confused. She went one step further. And, like, you can unlock Shulk for your party in Xenoblade 2's DLC, but, um... We should go back to that previous area and do the side quest, so we'll unlock another warp point first. And when you get Shulk in Xenoblade 2, you can basically do the Monado mechanics, like, you can see the future and stuff. So, I don't get why they couldn't program that for Rex in Xenoblade for Rex in the main game. Like, it just didn't make any sense why they showed that ability, but you can't use it in gameplay. That made no sense at all. I'm pretty sure it would have been hella helpful. How much I died in... I'm going the wrong friggin' way! Wow, I'm so stupid. Okay, we're gonna find another warp point up ahead first, and then we're going to go back there and kill the side quest creatures. It's not like we burned it down or cut it down or anything, it just turns into mist. Sometimes I see this, I never get used to it. On the other side of those clouds. Yep. It's our enemy. Maconis. What's up, aren't you? I can't believe these guys go above the clouds. They're really tremendous.
If we just came up the bionis shin, yeah. then this must be its kneecap, right? Yep. Which means Colony 6 is up ahead. Looks like we can climb up there. Great. I love a good climb. Kneecap Hill. We go heart to heart that I bet we can't do yet. Yeah, that is a really amazing view. I love how there's multiple layers of clouds. It's really incredible. I assume we're at a new warp point now. It's weird that this wasn't a warp point, how incredible this is. Ryan, there's something here. Say, Shulk, what do you think this is? Hmm, I have no idea. Alright, I'll just poke it and see what happens. But hold on now. We don't know what it'll do. It could be dangerous. I'm game. <laughs> I just... Looks familiar. Oh, a mysterious power. Oh wow, I can't even, I can't even go that way. That's hilarious. So much for open world games. Oh, this is the place from Xenoblade 2. Oh, you're the No Pond Sage. Art Sage been waiting. Yeah. Limitless powers of Art Sage. Art Sage has presented friends coming. Also presented but presents friends ask, what is place? Who are you? If, if not so. This place like Bionis, but not. Seems familiar, but not actually. It's a place that connects to past futures. And then upon our stage is great Nopon who, through endless chaining in many times and places, becomes sages of sages. His friends come here, they must mean friends want to become disciples. No backseats, so if friends complete challenges with both success, art shapes give reward. Good thing our stage transcend greed for material possessions, otherwise would not part with such priceless treasures. Let's go home. Friends have other important visions. See the light shining back, so we'll pass through that to return one sleep. Okay, so these are uh, the special challenges from Xenoblade 2. Or we're gonna be, uh, gonna have another crossover. Or we're gonna see, like, Rex and, uh, Rex's group as well as Elma. That, that'd be pretty cool. Like, they could easily just copy and paint. No, they couldn't because Fiora is kinda dead. Cause, so that canonically wouldn't make sense anymore. Wow. Okay, we're officially at a warp point. The leg pass. Oh, that's interesting. Let's go back here and, uh, do side quest stuff. Whoops, that was bad timing. Easy quest is easy, once I have Wang with me. You're a special dude, aren't you? Oh yeah, you are. Let's kill him! Fight. 
All right, you even got a sneak attack on him. Even better. Oh, that rhyme was days. Oh, crap. Special enemies, apparently. Oh my god, but now we're gonna get killed by these guys. I'm not gonna be able to collect the treasures. Quest completed. Okay, pretty easy. There's another quest marker. Oh. Oh, okay, there's a random thing on the floor. Not bad. That was too easy. We can come down here and do some quests, I guess. Huh. Okay, okay, this, okay, that area looks important. Let's just head here. Oh yeah, we're in this zone again. Oh yeah, we gotta kill one more of these uh, Brog dudes, don't we? Or do we? What's this? Okay, there's this random thing here. Not bad. Maybe we don't want to kill the frogs. There's another quest up here. It's this guy again. Yeah. Mystery prize. 
stay on the ground on the ledge just as you leave this cave. You'll be able to find a healer car in there. Alright, that's pretty nice. Monsters walking the way ahead. That doesn't sound good. We'll probably be taking care of ourselves. It's tougher than expected. We can take them down. So we can take them down. We? Arach More arachnos? Seriously? Oh my god. I'm gonna fight more of those bastards. Oh, that's where the prize is that you just told us about. Okay. Let's head back down here and get it. Looks like there's something buried here. Two, easiest quest ever, I like it. Ooh, topple resist. Why the heck would I not take that? Then I'd just lose it forever, wouldn't I? I like the uh, nighttime ambience. Like a. Uh, I like moments of quiet, moments of quiet in games like these. Unless it's Breath of the Wild, where everything's just freaking quiet all the time and it's so boring. What the heck was that loading screen for? The Ragnar Canyon Path. Hi. Ooh, a yeah. shop. Ooh, Aegis Garter! Oh, yeah, there's my Xenoblade 2 reference. Well, I got two of them by accident, oh well. That's good enough. I don't waste too much money. Today. Oh, the guard plane. Today. Guard plane is massive. How the monsters like Nick's all. There's someone to beat all the monsters you want. I'm pretty sure I can do it on the way. Oh my god. Today. I don't even care what monster it is anymore. I'm gonna see them on the quest markers anyway. I'm just gonna just master all this boring text. Okay, that's all. Nice that there's those uh, people hanging out here. Oh, there's the classic music. The Bionis' leg. Ah, uh, so this is the Gormop plane equivalent. The Gore plane. There's not even much difference in naming. Oh, Shulk, look over there. Smoke. Maybe someone's got a fire going. Hope they're cooking up something good. It's hardly a good spot for a barbecue. Come on, let's take a look. See, it's basically tradition for um, adventure games. It's a tradition for adventure games to have big open plane areas. It's like 
either the like either the first or the starting like either the first or the second area. Oh, let's go this guy. Like this one to show off how big and beautiful their world is, and it totally works. Let's just attack a harmless animal. Wow, okay, this guy's tough. Alright, maybe we won't bother the innocent animals who aren't hurting anybody. You know? Sounds good to me. Just let's enjoy the wonderful world that we have here. Let them enjoy it too. Uh, we gotta start all the way back here. Let's please hurry up and find another warp point. I didn't bother to read it because I was singing. Alright, well now that we have a work point, we can just uh, fight these guys now. Oh wow, nice way to signal the, the morning, just taking down an Arden. I'm here in Arden, Texas. Vena Blade, we will all save the day. I'm gonna keep addressing this amazing music by fighting the Arden. That's why both get a shield, that's pretty cool. Alright, easy quest. Yeah, and this is basically the setting in Smash Bros. for the Xenoblade stage. But yeah, you really can't beat this view. This view is just godly. God, this world is so incredible. Save the day with Zeno play. What the frick? This is random. Collect items for future quests. If you got a collectible and charge chest, I may have a vision. Should try and keep any items with these. Oh! Oh! Not, oh, not the third moth crawler. Me and Ryan always used to play with these when we were little. So we gotta collect three moth crawlers. Or do we already have two? Alright, okay, that's pretty handy. Warning us about uh, future side quests. Uh, we should follow the quest marker, but um, Xenoblade is about exploration, so let's do that. Hopefully we'll find some more points or something for future use. Oh, there's a quest marker down there.
plate. We will all save the day. I want to dive into the cloud sea! Athena play, that's when we all say hooray! We will all find our way, yeah we will. Oh! Oh, right, this is a bad idea. Alright, who's in this area that we're supposed to kill? Okay, I think these guys. Alright, let's just fight this guy then. This is a great day to just run around in your shorts, I tell you what. Oh! Oh, look at the look at that big guy. He looks terrifying. I just wanna look around at all the scenery. Bet you're a special enemy. We'll go fight you later. Someone's left a buggy out here. That's strange. Who would just abandon a buggy in this place? And it's pretty new. Is it brand new? Not brand new, but it's in very good condition. You wouldn't just abandon it. So, what did happen to the driver? There's a boy! He's being attacked by monsters! You saw it happening? Where? I don't know. But it was near some water. Near water? But what made you have a vision all of a sudden? Maybe it was triggered by touching the buggy. Well, we'd better find him. Let's search everywhere around here where there's water. Okay. Territorial Rotberg. Yep, you are very territorial. Freaking level 81 monster in a freaking level a level 10 zone. Jesus. Reminds me of Xenoblade 2 all over again. Oh, 
I like how your name is Ponyo. Ponyo, Ponyo, Ponyo. Horsey in the plane. Ponyo, Ponyo, Ponyo. What's your real name? Oh, I totally knocked him down, didn't we? Oh, there's a little baby pony Oh, I'm dead. Crap. Mine help. Oh, hello. Alright, that was, uh, barely won that one. And we leveled up to boot. Oh, you're a niece ponyo. Okay, interesting, interesting relationship there. This is what, another one right next to us. Not bad. Whoa! Oh, mistimed that. God! He just... He just, uh... Tricked his way all the way over to us! Oh my god, that was terrifying! Well, we're about to get murdered by a level 81. You don't want us beating up his ponios, apparently. What am I doing? Okay, I'm... Okay, I'll revive and I'm gonna die anyway. Well then.